Hello, and welcome to the premiere episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I'm Smokey. I'm a beginning philatelist, which means that I collect and study postage stamps and the story they have to tell us about our history, culture, and of course the journey they've taken to arrive at their destination. I'm also a member of Post Crossing, and I enjoy making new friends and learning about different people and locations around our globe through this wonderful hobby. You see, when it comes right down to it, whether it's sending or receiving a postcard, collecting postal covers, or adding a new stamp to my collection, I'm just a fan. That's right, I'm a fan of all things snail mail. And that'll be the focus of this YouTube channel. Now, our content will differ from episode to episode, as one day we'll look at a single stamp or perhaps a set of stamps. And the next day I'll share with you my outgoing and incoming postcards. So I hope you'll join me on this new fun and exciting journey that I call Snail Mail with Smokey. For the first episode, I thought we'd look at a set of stamps from my Sheep on Stamps collection. These three stamps are, is it four? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. Was issued by Australia in 1934 on the 100 year anniversary of the death of Captain John MacArthur. The set of three stamps was issued on November 11th, 1934, and each stamp measures 36 by 26 millimeters. These commemorative stamps were issued in three different colors and denominations. First is the 2D or 2 Australian Penny Carmine, Scott number 147. Second is the 3D Blue, Scott number 148. And the third stamp in the series is the 9D Purple, Scott number 149. An interesting fact about this set of stamps is although there are three stamps in the series, there's actually four. You see, the dye used to create the 2D, 3D, and 9D plates caused a weak and washed out appearance on the stamps, especially on the 2D stamp. So after the first large printing, the 2D dye was corrected, a new plate was made, and a subsequent printing was made and released on November 26, 1934. The new 2D stamp now appeared to have dark heels in the background. This is compared with the light heels of the first release. This new Dark Hill stamp is Scott number 148A. You can see the difference between the 2D Dark Hills and 2D Light Hill stamp when they are compared side by side. This set of stamps was designed by Frank D. Manley. Born in London, Manley was apprenticed as an engraver and attended London Central School of Arts and Crafts and Bolt Court School of Engraving and Lithography. After working in the publishing industry, Manley was recruited in 1928 by the nascent Commonwealth Banknote Printing Branch in Melbourne, Australia, and there his role grew to also include stamp design. Manley designed stamps from 1930 to 1960, and of all the stamps issued by the Australian Postmaster for mainland and territorial use during this 30-year period, in excess of 90 stamps were designed by Manley. Manley's designs include native animals, royal definitives, historical commemoratives, war and peacetime acknowledgments, and Australian iconic images for everyday postage. On our set of stamps, you'll notice that there's an image of a merino sheep, along with the inscription, Captain John MacArthur, 1834-1934, Centenary. The merino is a well-known breed of sheep although most people really only know it for its wool. This sheep has very fine fibers, which means that it's very warm and offers greater protection than the wool of other sheep. But to achieve this highest possible thermal protection from merino wool, it takes a lot of wool. And that means farmers are expected to keep a very large flock of sheep. These sheep herald from Spain, but the modern merino is actually more closely descended from the merinos of Australia where the breed has been perfected. The sheep can flourish in most climates and conditions, but perhaps it does best in a semi-arid and dry condition. 
MacArthur is credited with the introduction and successful breeding of the Spanish Merino to Australia. The sheep thrived and consequently created the biggest primary industry of the country. In 1797, the first Merino sheep were brought to Australia. Unlike earlier breeds, this variety was much better suited to the Australian environment and was a formidable wool producer. The first Australian produced fleece was sold in England in 1807, and by the late 19th century, wool had become Australia's major export. Now, the industry has gone through cycles of extreme growth and contraction, but today Australia still produces more than half of the world's merino wool. This set of stamps is a great addition to any collection, and they are fairly easy to find for sale on internet sites like Hip Stamp and eBay. The 2D Scott number 147 and 147A will run you about a dollar for a used copy. The 3D Scott number 148 is selling currently for between three and six dollars used. The 9D Purple Scott 149 is the priciest of the series, as you can expect to spend between 10 and 20 dollars or even a bit more for a used copy. Well, that's it for our first episode of Snail Mail with Smokey. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, would you please consider liking and subscribing to the channel? And also leave me a comment below. I'd love to connect with you. Until next time, I'm Smokey. Have a great day.